Hello everyone and welcome back. Last week we spoke to a woman named Patty. Patty met a man who claimed his name was Jeremy on Facebook dating. He was a traveling businessman because he said he had his own company. It started growing into a love relationship, if you want to call it that. We ran an investigation and found out that the website that Patty bought $25,000 worth of crypto on was a scam site and this guy Jeremy wasn't who he claimed to be. He's a real estate guy. His name is Wilbert Fonseca. He is also known as Ed the Cuban guy. He has a website. He has uh, YouTube videos. He has an Instagram page. All of these photos that you have are photos of a busy, happy, successful person. Ed obviously had nothing to do with the scam. His persona was stolen by scammers to get Patty onto the website to buy fake crypto. He even left a comment on last week's video stating he doesn't know much about crypto and he is sorry for what had happened to Patty. As we started to dig deeper into this website, something stood out that you wouldn't believe. On this episode of Scamfish presented by socialcatfish.com, we will dig deeper into this website and bust this whole scam operation these scammers have been building. Before we get into this, we want to thank everyone for helping us hit 20,000 subscribers. We are on the road to 50,000 and we need your help. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. Hello everyone, I'm David from socialcatfish.com and do you ever wonder how we get the information revealed to some of the victims that come on our show? If so, this is a video you're going to want to tune into. The first thing we're going to talk about is what Patty sees when she logs into her account to view her investments. So this looks like a dashboard that shows how much money she has in her account. I personally own crypto and I do invest in it. When you go into your account, it should show you how much crypto you have in your account, not the US dollar amount. So if it's Bitcoin, it should say BTC. And if you have 100 of them, it would display that. Another big red flag is that the fact that the Ethereum market says it's down 3%, but she's still making money off her earnings. Now we're going to look at her return. She's looking at a $500 a day back on her investment. That's about 1% of what's in her account, which is an insane return. I'm pretty sure that this is some automated mesh that they have set up to kind of just make you feel good about spending money on the site and get you to spend more. And realistically, if you look at the return, the return should actually increase every single day as more money is being deposited in the account, and that's not what's happening. This doesn't tell you where your money is or how you get it back either. When Patty tried to pull the money out of the account, the scammers wanted $60,000 up front. Source codes are basically the back end of a website, essentially what builds the page on the site. Think of it as a skeleton. You have a pretty nice website with a bunch of cool buttons and tools and pictures, but the codes are essentially what make the website work. When I looked at the source code for this nasty, evil scam website, I found that someone replaced the mirrored link with the actual website that we used. So let's talk about meta tags. Meta tags are codes that contain information about a website. I found that the site left some meta tags in the site from the original site template they had purchased. So when we had looked it up, we found the original template in the site and anybody could go and buy this template for $72. If this was a legit business, you would never have to pay a fee to withdraw the earnings on your investment. Things would have been a lot worse for Patty had she paid the $60,000 to the scammers. When Patty would invest into the website, the payment would go straight to a Bitcoin wallet. This also would never be the case if this was a legit business. One thing we know about scammers is a lot of them are lazy. They build these sites out for the short term, knowing they're not trying to build a long term business. It doesn't usually take a lot of effort to find red flags on these scam websites. A lot of time they will steal text from other websites to fill their scam website out and to make it look more legit. A big red flag is when a site doesn't have a working terms and conditions tab. Any company that you do business with is going to have this tab and the companies that they work with are going to make them have it. You should never do business with any website that doesn't have a terms and conditions filled out. The next thing we'll be discussing are business numbers. So in the United States, we have what are called like EIN numbers. They're nine digit numbers assigned by the Internal Revenue Service so that business entities can operate in the United States and for purposes of identification. When I looked up this company number in the UK, 
It is attached to Hub Traders Limited, but this company was dissolved in March of 2021. This company was owned by a man named Blake Hendricks. Have you ever come across any fake websites that tried to scam you out of money? Let us know in the comments section below. By the way, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get back into it. Okay, so next is website IP address. And IP address, there are series of numbers that represent where the servers live. Kind of like you would have a home address. What a lot of scammers do is hide behind private registration and often fake IP addresses. We are going to look at other sites that are attached to the same IP to see if they are running a scam too. It's pretty easy to find an IP address. I have this site's IP address right here and I'm gonna check the who is on the IP address. When I looked up the hosting, it gave me a 403 error, basically saying that it's not a valid page, but right here, we have a message that says, for this error to the webmaster. When I hover over it, we see that techplushost.com, which is a different hosting company than what we had seen previously, is the actual hosting company for this site. When I go here, the site takes Nira for payment, and Nira is a currency that's used in Nigeria. This means this site has to be out of Nigeria. Interesting, right? Now that I have the IP address, let's look at some of the websites that are associated with this IP address. Okay, so here's the list of websites that were all associated with the IP address. We also put them in the description so you can take a look at them yourself. Let us know if you find any red flags on these sites. It would help us out a lot. Holy Family Orphanage. That sounds legit. So look right here. So it says meet our volunteers. So this is a family, a whole, like a, I guess a family orphanage. Um, but it just says like marketing head. This is for sure a stock image. None of the links work. This person said they're in Paris. Our volunteer which is like not proper English. Oh, wow. Look, it says businessman. <laughs> Mr. Rashad Kabir is a businessman. And then Janatul Ferdos is a, another businessman. I don't know what role that is, but she's a businessman too. And then Marilena Urs is operations chief. All right, like this is for sure a scam. Like they're, they're stock pictures that are literally all over the internet. The contact us goes to a Google voice. The address goes to an apartment complex. And then, I mean, the English doesn't make sense on here. So that's one of the sites. Let's check out the other ones. Did we just find a list of scam websites? What do you think? Let's dig in a little deeper. No, I don't. I think they're like a legit company in Nigeria that provides and cheap hosting. Mm -hmm. And so there are people that you're using it for various reasons. But unfortunately, being like a hub with like a lot of scams, like we're going through this and like a lot of these are, they're scam, like a lot of these are scams. And they're all set up the exact same way. They have like the WhatsApp contact. They have like login and register. They're crypto mining. Like this site is saying, they're transporting SpaceX rockets. Check them out down below and let us know if you think any of these sites are legit websites. We go to the hosting company. We contact them, say, hey, I want to report fraud. We have reported the website that was used to scam Patty. It should be taken offline within the next couple of days. If you want to check it out while it's up, just go to equitycryptominingchain.com. Do not buy anything off this site or invest any money into it. It's a complete scam. This is only to educate you on what a fake website looks like. Thanks for watching another episode of Scamfish presented by socialcatfish.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Scams come in so many different forms. If you have been a victim of any of the scams below, please email us at sharemystory at socialcatfish.com. We'll get to the bottom of it with help from our Social Catfish team. By sharing your story with our YouTube audience, we can educate, spread awareness, and maybe someday we can put an end to these scams.